Well, this is looking very good so far. Um, someone's paid a lot of care. I mean, these these are one of my favourite forms of packing. It's the old um, polystyrene peanuts. Um, someone's put me a little note as well. It's really nice. Yeah, not many people handwrite letters these days, which I always appreciate. Ah, what have we got? Another Robert's look. peanuts out, you need a bag to tip it in really. Let me see if I can find a bag to put it in a minute. Okay, that's the majority of them out of the top of it there anyway. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. That um, is in very nice condition, just needs a clean up by the looks of it. So, do you think we've got another No, because on the bottom there it says RT8. I'm going to be really careful with that because there is a little bit of breakaway on that letter in there. It's like it's coming away from the glass. Yeah, that's an RT8. That's the RT7. I mean, they've just made it shorter. Still got the. Oh, hang on, now we've got an on off switch on here now. Tone on, on a button. So, no, no variable tone, just high and low tone, I would have thought. Piano keys, little brass trim. It's a little bit like the Roberts R200 and R300. The R200 and 300 are virtually the same, except the 300's a little, got a little bit more refinements on it, so they are. Or T8 by the looks of it, it's the same. So let's have a look in the back of it. <coughs> Hopefully, you can all see that. My lights uh, are a bit funny, that's better there, probably. Yeah, the grill's a bit finer on this, this model as well. Ah, now this is unusual. So this has got some. Um, this has got different layer altogether. We have a, a module. My favourite things. A very loose module as well. So potentially got some nasties in the module. But um, yeah, what about battery that takes then? It's got no Paxilin. Circle on it. Looks like the... It's got a... Yeah, headphone sockets come adrift on the side. Any difference? There's not a switch. Well, there is a switch, but it's not connected. Yeah, really interesting radio. Let me just find the sheet on that one then, because that's a bizarre-looking battery. I wonder what size that is. So this is an RT8, very similar to the RT7. Doesn't look as doesn't look as crammed full of components, so just let me find the info on the battery a minute. Okay, well I've got the um, trader sheet to this one, which is off um, Vintage Radio Forums. Uh, CD, DVD with all the service manual. Service manual, DVD. Well worth purchasing. If you haven't got it, it's got 
absolutely thousands of, of radios on it. It's um, a real godsend. And you can print print them off like this. It's all copies of the old trader sheets. Now this is the trader sheet for the Roberts RT. I've printed it two-sided, so it's a little bit ass about face. But um, basically, it looks like we've got. It's saying it's got three circuit boards in it, and we've got the dreaded AF one one sevens in VT one, VT two, and VT three by the looks of it. Um, so let's have a look at those. It's nine volt. And it uses a PP10 again, so I'm going to need to look the PP10 up. I may have to um, design one of those and get it printed out. Oh, I see, yeah. We've got a separate board up here for RF. And if you can see that, let's get you in a little bit closer. So we've got a separate board up here for the RF, and that's got an AF117 in, in it. And this IF board down here. This looks like it. It's very loose and wobbly. It looks like it just unhooks or something. Anyway, I have got experience with those modules. So we've got two two more um, AF one one sevens in this module. And then this is the amplifier board, or the audio board. So you can see that uh, obviously it's got a lot of components. It's got audio transformers in again. And two outputs on the end here. What are the output transistors on this? VT7, VT6, OC81s as a pair. Yeah, in really lovely condition. I'm really lucky with those two. I did snap them up as soon as I seen them to be fair. I um, put fairly high bids in on them to make sure I've got them. So let's uh, turn it off. It's nine volts as I said. If I can connect to that. Play, does it? Because my leads are a bit twisted up. Let's get back around to the front. Let's uh, turn them on. fair we're not really likely to get anything you just try and sort this delaminating stuff out as well I'm gonna need to put some some sort of glue in there to hold that back but a watered down PVA or something anyway we're drawing a bit of current obviously the I think it's 0 0.02 amps or 20, 20 milliamps So we've got. Oh. And the bacon in the bus. AF117s. There is nothing but. It's gone again. <laughs> the RF, surprisingly, the RF um, board's okay. That's no, gonna not gonna go again. <laughs> well, it did spring into life briefly there, so it means we definitely got to do the IF transistors. That's a shame. I shouldn't have tapped it again, really. But looks like the um, slugs have been turned at some stage, but it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Well, there you are. It did spring into life briefly. Again, it's going to need a recap, and I think, I think what I'll do on on this because I'm going to keep these. I think I'm going to keep them anyway. Is you know I like the look of all these old components, so I'm going to restuff these. I've done it once before in the um, 
uh, what was it, the Dynatron, wasn't it? TP11 Nomad. I've done it in that because, you know, you open that and it's all on show. The hackers and the later Roberts have all got those blue capacitors in, so you can easily change those for modern ones and it still looks fluffy as it should. These won't. But um, these capsules will be will be shot to pieces, I expect. So anyway, there you go. Another one uh, that's going to be awaiting restoration when I don't have any more repairs in, which is probably never. <laughs> anyway, if you like that and the RT7, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you want to see more on these sets, let me know in the comments. Bye for now.